was looking at my dwindling stash of sealed boxes that I bought ages ago to catch up with sets I missed on. And while most of them I still kind of don't want to open yet, I'm not in the mood, this guy really caught my eye yesterday and I really want to know what's in it. I never opened this set before. When I opened Vivid Voltage, I never pulled any of the English VMAX versions, full art, you know, the Rainbow Hyper Air, any of those. So I'd really love the chance to pull any of them in Japanese. And of course, you know, I could also pull Leon. I wouldn't mind another one of him. And there's some really nice hollows in here. The Pokemon in here are really, really nice. There's a couple that I'm not too fond of, but that's the way it is with sets. Some Pokemon you like and some you don't. When I was digging around in my cupboard to find a, an appropriate tea to pair with this opening, I kind of came across this. <laughs> lurking in the back that I completely forgot I had. In the ye olden times, before the pandemic, I used to wander around main London. I'd go around Hyde Park and then you kind of end up, if you wanted to walk towards Waterloo, you'd end up like through Regent Street and you'd pass all the lovely shops there. I didn't go in them often because uh, they'd be expensive, but I really did enjoy going to Fortnum and Mason and buying their biscuits, top notch biscuits. In incredible packaging. If I had any left I would show you but alas I do not. But I do have this <laughs> this tea that I obviously purchased when I went in there one time. I don't remember doing it but this is what I'm going to be drinking today. So this is their Queen Anne tea. So description time. Created in 1907, our bicentenary year. This popular blend commemorates the reigning sovereign in the year that Fortnum and Mason first began. The smooth blend of carefully selected Assam and Celian teas, I hope I pronounced that correctly, produces a strong, smooth tea that is refreshing at any time of day. And this day being a Sunday, kind of late morning, actually looking at the time, bang on afternoon, it's bang on 12 to open up some Vivid Voltage. I'm not sure that the Fortnum and Mason tea makers ever envisioned that their tea would be drunk uh, while a, a boomer is opening up Pokemon cards for her YouTube channel, but this is what I'm doing. So I'm gonna enjoy it. Mm. Yeah, it's a good tea. It is a good tea. Of course, with this set, I also really wanted to buy it for shelving display purposes. I'm definitely gonna keep the box. The box is really, really nice. I really enjoy the way that the Japanese display their boxes and have their boxes. Whereas in English, I think they just, they look so terrible, but these look great. So I'll definitely be keeping this for display. So I've got to be careful that I don't like ruin it. And the beautiful packs, absolutely adore the pack art. <laughs> looks really good. The big old chunk of you there. Really hope I pull at least a VMAX of him or a V. I actually didn't even get the V in English either. The V, the Full Art, the V Max, and the Hyper, yeah, none of them. So please, I'd like to at least open one. Okay, here we go. Oh, I do love the way Japanese packs open. So easy, so smooth, it's just so good. Okay, one to the front, if I remember correctly. A Gardevoir here to start it off, and a little tutel just having a bit of a roar and he's sparkling for some reason as he's roaring, you see that? Little sparkle <laughs> around as he's roaring out, probably protecting his territory or calling for a mate, no idea. Oh, the goat, Pokemon, yep. Electric, Electrike, one of those, the wormy thing. <laughs> okay, we start off with the Pokemon that cursed me in the English, well, my English openings of this set. I got him so many times and it is only fitting that then he then appears in my very first pack of Vivid Voltage. There he is, uh, Galarian Domanitan. <laughs> He's very, very strong in the video game actually. Like definitely a meta, a meta Pokemon to play. I have a shiny version of him. He's very funny looking, but uh, hopefully I can still get the Pikachu out of this box. Shifri, I think, the dark, yeah, the dark grass Pokemon. Uh, the little clay motion drill burr, I think, I believe his little name is. Really like these clay Pokemon. They look really cute. Uh, whim, mm, cotton, cotton grass fluffy thing. A Poochiena. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, we get, wow, this box just like 
It's just throwing, just throwing the hits out immediately. A rainbow rare Nessa trainer card as the hit for this box. Potentially another one. Can I just say that texture is really, really nice. I'm normally not a fan of these rainbow trainers. I think the actual like normal colored trainers themselves look so much better, but that texture. So if I just come up here and we just have a look, can you see like those diamond shapes coming around her? That's gorgeous. That is really, really nice. And of course, here we are, Nessa, full art, hyper rare, rainbow trainer as this hit. Just appreciate that texturing and the way that the light catches that card. Really pretty. And just of course, ah, the texture. Oh, it just feels so good. What's the point of having a texture in a card if you just, just can't feel it? Just, just once, just feeling it once. Definitely need a sip of tea after that. Mm. Keep forgetting how small the Japanese booster packs are. Do enjoy it. Oh, I do enjoy Japanese so much more than English when it comes to Pokemon. Uh, I don't play. I just love collect uh, collecting. So, ah, oh, little happy Charmander. Can we just appreciate how happy this Charmander is? So, you know, I don't need the um, actual playable cards. I just like collecting and the hollows, look how good that is. Look how nice, you've got the border as well as the inside. It looks so good. I can't remember the names, guys, Rakin, <laughs> one of those land dog things, you know, there he is, fighting type. Oh, start off with a Vaporeon. Just how nice that art is. Just these commons and uncommons just look so good. Really, really pretty. Just love the art of all of these cards. Here we go. Little Octi something, as Octopus Swallow. <laughs> that poor, poor Pokemon about to be eaten. <laughs> I do remember in the other card that I think he's like eaten it or swallowed it or something. Um, Crawdon or I can't remember his name. Oh, and the man himself, Leon, um, Hollow Trainer. I do have his full art version, which I actually like picked up as a single, uh, just cause I think it looks really good, but I don't have this. So now I have this. Hey, a roaring Don fan, a Meowth. Is that Glarian Meowth, I believe? Mm -hmm. Or is he named something else? Ugh, memory fails me. Uh, Shed Ninja, mm -hmm. maybe? Little tutor again. And what do we have? Oh, please. Okay. Moment of truth. Is that going to be the Pikachu? No. Oh, no. Okay. It's the sword. <laughs> it's not the Pikachu. Is this box going to do me like English has done me with Viva Voltage, where I just really want some Pikachu cards and it's just going to be like, nah, nah. Uh, it's what you get for opening uh, boxes instead of just buying singles. You get a sword and a, and a monk. You get a sword and a monk instead. A, oh, I like the art on that Machoke. That's really cool. Have a look at that. He is, where is he? Where is he? Is he like in some sort of office building? Or he's just like infiltrated it like a spy? I don't know the story behind that. That's really interesting. Oh, I wonder what he's doing. Oh yeah, there we go. See, he's eating him. It's just like eating him. It's just like, <laughs> and sitting there savoring, savoring his meal. It's just ridiculous. Pokemon just can be so mean sometimes. Just poor little Pokemon just getting eaten. Oh, little Wisma crying as he does. A cute Fanfy with a little Teddy Ursa Teddy right next to him to give him comfort. Really, really cute. And a, oh, Drapion, Drapion V, I think that is. I do enjoy the um, these Vs where they're like look embossed. It does look really nice and the way like the colors kind of catch it. Yeah, and it's got like, I think it's like in the forest or something in the background. Yeah, it's actually not a bad looking V. Looks quite nice. And to the front. Ah, Charmeleon. There he is, having a grand old time. Just being a pyromaniac and setting some stuff on fire. As you do, I can relate to that. Oh, he's de-evolved de into Charmander. Happy little Charmander, a literal garbage bag, trubbish, Welmer, and then he's evolved. <laughs> then he's evolved into Whale Lord. 
That is beautiful. I do love this hollow. I was looking at the cards that I could pull from this set, weighing my options about whether to open it or not. And I did notice this hollow and be like, oh, that's nice. That's a nice hollow. I do like the kind of like the little um, whalemer in the background, like breaching with him um, as whale lord yeets himself out of the water. <clears throat> um, hmm, Sam, Samurai something, Samurai, Sam. God, I really don't know Pokemon as well as I should do. This is like really bad. I know that one. That one's Eevee. Eevee looking up at the night sky and just really enjoying those shooting stars. Maybe he's making a wish. Could you wish for me to get a Pikachu, please, in this box? That would be grand. And a hot bath. Nin Ninjask? I... Oh. Komiya. Komiya always does it. He always does it to me. These arts get me every time. They're so unique. They're so cool. And look at that little, little man. Little man in the background. Just like... <laughs> watching and just being a bit shocked I think. I uh, I love his art. His art is so cool. A little zebra just enjoying a thunderstorm. Chai Meko, a knitted Chai Meko. The Hitmontop again with B and yeah there we go. Leon and Charizard holographic. I was really hoped I'd pull this so at least I get this out of this box. Really nice holographic. Of course for some reason in Viva Voltage um, it didn't come as a hollow, it came as like a, a non-hollow version. Uh, you could get a crystal hollow version in the theme decks, so at least you could get that. But this is a gorgeous card. Leon and his Charizard in the middle of a battle. It's just the art is lovely. Really nice hit. Fairy Seed, just doing his thing. Oshawott, by the sea, contemplating life. Oh, is that Swoobat? Oh, no, that's Woobat, right? Woobat with the little heart nose. I'm pretty sure that is. Little C dot. And, ah, uh, the V version. So here we go. We've got the kind of ultra rare and the V max. Um, Age of Slash? Yeah, Age of Slash. Yeah, so you can see kind of like the differences in cards. No texture. Texture. Um, Widen Stadium. Yeah, I believe that's what that's called. That fluffy Pokemon, Glaring Meowth, Little Eevee, and a Glaring Sir Farfetch'd just thrusting his sword at some poor unsuspecting Pokemon's face. Is there an innuendo in there? No, because this is Pokemon and it's for kids. But there he is thrusting his sword just everywhere. Just, just really, really aggressively. Oh. Yeah. Pack was like rather difficult to open. And we got the Rotom drone again. Lil Drillbur. Um oh is that cat oh. can't remember this little duck's name. Uh oh, it's a it's a duck. He's eating another Pokemon. Just eating and savoring it. Little zebra. And oh, um Duraludon. Duraludon from the newest set. This is actually a really epic looking card. He, this art is really, really nice. I know he's just like, he's such a weird Pokemon. He's like a dragon, but he's also a building, especially when he VMAXes, he's just like a literal skyscraper. But he, that does look really cool. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like Steelix as well. Steelix has some really nice hollows. And maybe, maybe this guy will go in the same fashion. Is, a, is this box gonna do me like English did me, where it's not gonna give me any Pikachu cards whatsoever? I really hope not. Here's a Shifri. Um, Mudsdale? No, Muds uh, Mudsdale, the big one? Oh, I can't remember. Little C dot. A Dusclops, Dus... Uh, and... A Glorian V. Which means that unless we get an extra V, no Pikachu. God damn it. Why? Why is it... Why is this set? Japanese and English not giving me any of the Pikachu cards. Ah, oh, it, it just do be like that, doesn't it? Just, I know it do be like that sometimes, but it hurts when it do be like that. Ah, oh, it sucks. A water energy Machop. Ah, oh, Sableye, little uh, Gemlin, the little gem goblin there. He's always after his gems. Being a little mischievous little gremlin, screaming, shouting. <laughs> Little rascal, I quite like this Pokemon, Sableye, and a Dusk Noir, Dusk Lops, Dusk something, Dusky, 
the old dusky Pokemon holographic. Just appreciate the way that these holographics shine in the light. Love it every time, so pretty. All right, here we go. We have a Dreadnought and again with Nessa in the background. Really nice looking card. Do you love this Dreadnought? The art on it is really pretty. It's just like, it's just something soft, the colors. It's really nice uh, soft colors with this art. A mm, grass, grass goat, uh, Poochiena. Oh, don't damage your cards. Uh, the little Barrascooter or something, whatever he's called, about to be eaten by that duck. And, oh, okay, a double hit box. Lessons to sting a bit, but it's a bloody Drapion. <laughs> like I had an extra chance to get a Pikachu and this set is like, nah, you fought. Anyway, double hit box. That is really lucky. That is so lucky. <laughs> the way that this luck is just so weird. I was like really lucky enough to hit two, two big hits, like two secret rares from this box. So we have the secret rare full art Drapion here. Jeez, the textures on these full arts are, are really impressive. And gosh, look at the light in that. It's just so sparkly. It's just so, so sparkly. And then the hyper rare. So two hit box. It's a shame that I get an extra hit and they didn't give me a Pikachu. Oh, I just, want, I just wanted a Pikachu. Please. Mm. Gotta have a celebratory sip of tea for a double hit box. Always gotta celebrate the double hits. They don't come often. So rare. Um, the evolved form of that Pokemon that was eaten by a duck. Little Slugma, looking at that volcano. And oh, another nice hollow hit before, uh, as we get towards the end, a electrode, as they all seem to be doing, just exploding, just absolutely exploding everywhere. So for a recap, we got some very beautiful hollows. Holographics from these Japanese boxes are always lovely, just with the borders and the way they shine. Just always love them. I do tend to keep a lot of them unless I've got doubles. Just think they look so good. A Galarian Darmanitan, Galarian Surfetched, Aegislash, and the Drapion. Then the Gla Gla Galarian Darmanitan VMAX, Aegislash VMAX. Darmanitan V Full Art Secret Rare and the Nessa Hyper Rare Full Art here, the rainbow version. Always consider myself extremely lucky to hit a double hit box, but I am sad that I didn't hit a Pikachu. That's what I opened this box for. I was really hoping that um, the Japanese box would treat me, but it do be like that. That's what happens when you open up boxes. You, you take that gamble, and sometimes the gamble pays off in mysterious ways.